So welcome back to another training vlog. <clears throat> this morning is another bumper morning of training. So we have some jiu-jitsu now and then running and squatting afterwards. So in total, probably about three hours of training, maybe three and a half. Now, this week is a bit different. So I started getting my nutritional coaching from Alex Kiko uh, earlier on this week. So I kind of three or four days in. Now, why does this make it different? Well, the next two months of training are predominantly focused on building a running base, which I have been like previously building a squatting base, but also dropping down to 92 kilos or ideally down to 92 kilos so food at the moment is predominantly just meat some meat some veggies and nuts and then around training some carbs coming mainly from fruit uh, and kind of intra workout carbs then so things are feeling good they're really really good uh, just having better meal prep and better food food preparation in general is obviously uh, always a good thing. But there is a bit of a difference. Training feels like it's a lot more serious now because there's somebody else involved or somebody else has been pulled in to help. So yeah, it's uh, woke up a small bit late this morning and on the way to the gym. They're Teddy special ones. I know why. The scoops are massive. <laughs> I don't know when he will be back. So for training this morning, it's squats at I think 105 or 110 kilos for a few sets of eight. I think it's three by eight. So a nice, easy squat session. After this, we're gonna go straight into, or I'm gonna go straight into a 5K run, just straight from the gym. So I'm trying to keep the training session all as one basically, rather than using the energy to warm up, cool down, warm up and cool down again. Um, Jiu Jitsu was good this morning, nice light class, so it was all good. So one thing is training in a deficit is much harder than training in a surplus or even training at at maintenance calories. So the thing you saw me mixing up there was some intra-workout carbs, some BCAAs, some creatine and some electrolytes. These are actually making a massive difference to training. I feel so much better during training sessions when I have them. On Monday this week I trained without them. The order just hadn't come through yet. Um, and there's a really big noticeable difference when I do so had a good like two and a half hour long session yesterday no bother at all with the intra workout carbs and then basically outside of training it's very very limited carbs so it's just a lot of meat with every meal some veggies some nuts and uh, 
yeah, everything feels good at the moment. I just feel a little bit weaker, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know why it's happening. That right there is the roll of a plate. Somebody who's cleaned up far too many gym floors. So first set coming up now, there's no real focus for these to be honest, um, there's no particular cues I'm going to work on, I know the last few weeks from working on keeping my head back, staying very straight and upright, which all seems to have kind of worked and helped itself, I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue today, so we'll just be breathing, getting through it, making sure my positions are maintained well, put this belt on backwards. Um, but yeah, I don't, my head's pretty clear going into these. Obviously the last session before this was the 10RM at 140. Which in itself wasn't difficult, but purely due to the fact that I haven't squatted in a long time. It was uh, the heaviest, the heaviest set I had done. There we go. Now I showed you goals and bets and stuff that have been written on gym walls before. Here's another. Rory back squats 200 before Dara squats 250. Now, I know you're all saying, Fitz, you haven't squatted 250. Well, Rory hasn't squatted 200 either, so we're all safe so far. Left an absolute ripper go during my second rep. <clears throat> Which really doesn't help your midline bracing. So some other things from like recent training and more kind of noteworthy things are just places where kind of performance is falling down. And to be honest, a lot of these are like small logistical or technical errors outside of any training or outside of any like programming error. So examples of this would be not having the right gear ready on the right day, not having food ready on time and having to alter meals or alter timing of meals or not having like appropriate socks ready for when I'm going to run, still doing the run anyway and tearing my feet up. So. I know in last week's vlog, my feet were a bit torn up from cutting weight, running in non-ideal shoes. That's like a, a classic example. And to be honest, my feet are just kind of slowly getting there, but they're really not adapting as fast as I'd want them to. Uh, so I am looking after them a bit. Uh, that's actually why I'm wearing no socks at the moment is a lot of the socks I'm wearing are kind of slipping around inside my shoe where they're just slipping between my foot and the sock itself. So I'm just trying to support my foot a bit more, get my foot right into the shoe and go from there. If anyone does have any sock recommendations, I'd really, is it set?
So this is 20 grams of carbs, 7 grams of VCAAs, a scoop of electrolytes, and 15 grams of creatine. And then a can of monster to go with it. So I'd gone away from the uh <clears throat> the kind of sugar-free monsters and stuff for a while. My stomach is pretty fucked from seven rounds of antibiotics last year. So because of that, anytime I have a spare day now, my stomach gets a bit iffy. Um but for cases like this I put up with one or two doses of the shit for the sake of some extra caffeine and I'm still waiting for my caffeine powder to arrive so it's it's as good as anything else time for last set <clears throat> hopefully I don't shit myself So finished squats in and on to the run. I'm just gonna note the time. Ideally I want to be kind of getting to the run in the next five minutes. Just to make sure you don't cool down or anything. So as I said, it's 5k, 5 one kilometer repeats. There's a nice loop here that swings back around by the gym, so it's good and easy to do. Two minutes rest between each one. These aren't gonna be great. <clears throat> in the same way where the last set of squats weren't great, but it just has to be done. So first one down, just said I'd give you a view of the route. I think it's a little less than 1k. Um, but up the hill on one side, down the hill on the other. A few nice changes of scenery along the way. Right, time to go on the third one. You're coming with me for this again. Same route, same fucking uphill, same wind. So I'm gonna have to finish training there because I need to cool down so I'm not fucked for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's also hitting what they feel like here on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went. <laughs> 